India's insurance sector is projected to record the fastest growth among G20 countries. Total premiums are expected to rise at an average rate of 7.1% in real terms during 2024 to 2028 compared to the growth rate for the global insurance market, which is expected to be around 2.4%. However, overall insurance coverage in India is just about 3.8% compared to 6.5% globally. Now, the Parliamentary Committee on Finance has carried out a comprehensive review of the insurance sector in India and it feels that a lot can be done to grow the insurance sector. Firstly, the committee has said and observed there is a need to rationalize the GST rate on insurance products, which is 18% at present. The committee has recommended that GST rates on health insurance products, especially retail policies for senior citizens, can be reduced. The Parliamentary Committee has also said that the minimum capital requirement of 100 crores for entering the sector must be reduced to allow newer, smaller and niche players to enter. This will ensure a wider section of the society to be covered under insurance policies. The ecosystem, according to the committee, should be such that new and affordable products should be developed. Another big recommendation is on composite license, one which allows insurance companies to sell and process life insurance and non-life insurance products without separate licenses. This would require amendments to the Insurance Act. The committee has also called for strengthening the Ayushman Bharat scheme to cover the missing middle. Missing middle means uh, people with no access to any financial protection for health. According to a Niti Aayog report, 30% of India's population comes under the missing middle or section of the population devoid of any financial insurance for health. Finally, the recommendations say that public sector insurance companies must be strengthened by the government and IRDAI may consider setting up an ombudsman to address consumer grievances. Now, all of these are recommendations from the committee. It is up to the government to either follow them, accept them, implement them or uh, to ignore them. Hey, thank you for watching this on CNBC TV 18. Hope you liked it. For more such interesting news and updates, follow CNBC TV 18 on all the social media platforms.